Armstrong, and I'm going to be talking today with the founder of Companion Bakery, Josh Allen. Now, Companion creates artisan breads for the wholesale and the retail markets here in St. Louis. Let's meet Josh. Hey, Josh. Yes, Mario. Hey, Mario Armstrong. I'm here, man, ready to see your bakery. Well, welcome. We'd love to show you around. All right, Come let's go to it. Excited about this, man. Let's go. It's a 24-hour operation. We threw the key away two years after we opened, and I think small, agile businesses tend to make quick decisions. Sometimes that's great, sometimes we can be incredibly responsive, and sometimes we absolutely blow it. Today, I'll be down in the trenches with Josh, learning everything I can about his business. And what I'm looking for are the areas where he might be missing an opportunity. Our first chance comes up when a crisis develops. So we got a hot shot delivery. We got a chef <laughs> in the Central West End who needs 20 baguettes. Crisis mode. Crisis mode. All right, I'm, I'm with you. What do we got to do first? We got to get the bread, we got to load up the Transit Connect, and we got to go. All right, let's do it. We were able to wrap it, you know, get full graphics around it. It makes quite a visual statement on the road. People are really excited to see it, and we get constant branding wherever we are. Like at Brasserie today, everybody's sitting outside. We're pulling out making a delivery. It does a lot to help our business. So how many restaurants do you service like this? We service about 65 or 70 restaurants a day. A day? Like this, yeah. We have Jeez. 150 deliveries, but about half of them are restaurants. So I just had this crazy idea. I don't know if you're going to bite on this or not. Is it possible that Josh could actually sell some of his bread in your beautiful restaurant? Great idea. Where would you set it up? Could you set it up somewhere neat? Set it up right at the bar during the day, a little boulangerie. I think that's a good idea to try to think of your customers as your partners and vice versa, OK? Terrific. I look forward to hearing it. All right, all right. I like that one. Now we're off to our next stop, a farmer's market where Companion Bakery sells to retail customers. Now, while the guys are setting up, I take the chance to share some of my impressions with Josh. You guys are, just so I'm clear on the business aspect of it all, you're not collecting data, database information. You're not asking for email addresses or... We're not currently doing that. Not no. currently doing that right now. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm taking the hint that I should be doing that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is a touch point. It's uh, intimate. So it gives you a real good chance of explaining why the newsletter is of value or why they should join this email newsletter. Right, no, it's a great idea. One thing that you said that was key to me is that you want to start getting more of the customers that buy your bread in the grocery store to be more active, to buy more product. So I think what you have to do is, since they're going to the grocery store and buying the bread, I think we really need to look at promoting on the actual packaging. So it's not enough just to put companionstl.com. You need a call to action, is what you're saying? You need a call to action, and you send them to your store. You bring them to your cooking class. You bring them to a session where they get to meet you personally. So that might be an opportunity for you to do some things in the offline world. Right, and I think the idea yeah. of using the packaging as a place to drive a call to action or to have folks do something other than just eat what's inside of it <laughs> is, is interesting. <laughs> I got something new. All right, all right. Sounds good, man. I've also been doing a lot of thinking about some of the ways that Josh could increase his productivity while he's out on the road. And his Transit Connect really could become his mobile office. I told you we had one more stop to make, and this one's going to hook you up really, really big time. This guy right here, Tim. Meet yeah. Josh. Nice Hi, to Josh, meet you. Nice to Tim. you, Tim. Tim is here from Dave Sinclair Ford, and what we're going to show you is Ford Work Solutions. This is the whole hookup to make your Ford Transit Connect basically a mobile office. So I'm very excited to see it. Want to show it to him? Let's check it let's out. Let's go check it out. All right, let's go. You guys are going to go on that side. I'm going to come around on this side. So just so I understand, I don't have to plug into this with a laptop. I don't have another computer that no. I'm plugging into the dash. No, man, that's the whole point. This Ford Work Solutions gives you this total in-dash computer. You have the Bluetooth wireless keyboard there. You have all your applications here, spreadsheets, word processing. There's an internet browser. So I could be at the farmer's market. I could plug in. Absolutely. And I could swipe credit cards. You could thing. swipe credit cards in this thing. I got to get my head out of the mixer more often. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Yeah, one of the things I was going to talk to you about was putting on a vehicle tracker. Like, find the Transit Connect. Like, wherever, find Companions Transit Connect, wherever it is. And then maybe you could do some type of reward system based off of it. They spot it at certain places. You know, just a little idea that I'm cooking up in the back. Oh, I like that. That's pretty cool.
All right, man, so we're back in the uh, Companion factory, right? This is where it, where it all gets done. It's where all the magic happens yeah. down here in South yeah. St. Louis. Yeah. I'm holding some of the magic right here, man. I'm going to take a bite of this in just a little bit, but I want to make sure that you actually learn some stuff today. We did a lot of ground. We covered a lot of ground today. I want to hear from you. What do you think are your next steps? Well, first of all, they weren't kidding when they called you a small business expert. So we got a lot of content in today, and, and I'm excited about it. You know, it's not often I get to have somebody riding shotgun either, so that was fun. My day's done. What about you? No, we're just getting started. Here, so we're going to be baking until three or four o'clock in the morning, and then we load up the vans and the trucks and head out, and we start yeah. all over again. This is good. You got some butter and some basil or something? Yeah, to do I think I can take oil? care of yeah. yeah. Right, let's go get it. Let's wrap this up and we'll take this home. Okay? Well, thank you, sir. It's great right. to meet you. You too, Josh. Let's go. That's it from St. Louis, home of the delicious companion bread. Now join us next time with more small business tips on driven business advice from the road.